simplifying rational expressions. Number one wants us to rewrite this in simplest form and then to state any restrictions on the variable. So let's do that. So to write this in simplest form, I'm going to have to factor the top and the bottom. So factoring the numerator, the numbers that multiply to 9 but add up to 6 are 3 and 3. So x plus 3 times x plus 3. Doing the same thing for the denominator, I need numbers that multiply to negative 21 but add up to negative 4. Those numbers are positive 3 and negative 7. So x plus 3 times x minus 7. Before we go any further, we need to find the restrictions. So set each of the expressions in the denominator equal to zero. You'll get negative three and positive seven as my restrictions. So x cannot equal that because then you'll get zero in the denominator, which we can't have. Now, simplifying this, you have x plus three and x plus three. That reduces to one. So we're left with x plus three over x minus 7 as my simplest form for that expression. So let's type that in. So typing in my simplest form, x plus 3 in the numerator and x minus 7 in the denominator. Now for my restrictions, x cannot equal negative 3 or positive 7. And that's number one. Going to number three, simplify the rational expression. So let's take a closer look at that. So the first thing we need to do to simplify this is take a GCF out of the numerator and the denominator. So in the numerator, it has a GCF of six. So divide six y and negative 12 by six, and you'll get six times y minus two. The denominator has a GCF of seven, so divide 7y and negative 14 by 7, and you'll get 7 times y minus 2. Now, we're not being asked to find restrictions this time, so we can go right ahead and simplify. y minus 2 over y minus 2 can reduce to 1, and we're left with 6 over 7. So let's type that in. So let's type in 6 over 7. And that's number three.